In this video, we're going to look at speed, distance, time, and density, mass, and volume. Okay, so these are two different sort of concepts, but they share the same equation. So the questions are very similar. Okay, now the formula for speed is speed equals distance over time. The formula for density is density is equals mass over volume. Now, if you're not comfortable with um, algebra, a lot of people uh, like to use this triangle sort of um, method. And we'll, we'll, we'll go through the triangle method. But if you're happy with algebra, then the equations are uh, probably a better way to go through uh, these questions. Okay, so say for example, they say work at the speed of... Um, a train driver, if he travelled, let's say, two kilometres in, um, let's say, 0 0.1 hours. Okay, so, of course, let's, if we use a triangle method, we'll, we want to work out S, so we'll cover S, and we've got D over T. So we just have 2 over 0 0.1. And you'll get 20. And we had column kilometers and hours, so that means 20 kilometers per hour. Of course, if you had a density question, it will be very, very similar. Okay, a density question will be very similar. Instead of using the triangle, let's use the uh, equation instead. In fact, let's use the triangle uh, one more time. Let's say they said work out what the mass is equal to if the density of this object that they were talking about in the question was uh, 10 kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, they'll give you the uh, units most likely. And the volume was, let's say... 20 meter cubed okay so we want to work out m so we're going to cross out m or cover m on the triangle and um, because d and v are next to each other it's going to be times in so we need to times d and v okay so m equals d which is 10 times v which is 20 and we get 200 and because it's mass meter cubed meter cubed cancel out and we get 200 kilograms okay and they'll most likely tell you what the units are in the question so you don't have to worry too much about cancelling out the m cubed like i did there okay but it really is as simple as that so if you prefer to use a triangle use a triangle but the equation itself is probably better to use if you're good at algebra so if we have an actual question let's see how we would do it it says the distance from Manchester to Milton is 205 miles. So, okay, so it looks like it's a speed equals distance over time question. And they say a train travels this distance in 3 hours 15 minutes. Calculate the average speed of the train. So I'm just going to write speed equals distance over time. And we we're trying to work out what speed is. So what is the distance? What is the time? Uh, they gave us the distance in the first line. So... The distance is 205 miles and what is the time here we need to be careful because they said three hours and 15 minutes okay we need to convert this into a decimal so how do you convert this into a decimal first thing let's convert it into minutes three hours just means three times 60 minutes and then we got 15 minutes so of course that's just plus 15 and now if you do this with a calculator or in your head you should get 195 minutes okay now let's do the question let's let's find the question in miles per hour so right now we've got miles and we've got minutes how do you convert minutes into hours you divide by 60 Okay, 
And if you get your calculator and you do 195 divided by 60, you'll get 3.25 hours. And that's what we have to do. Finally, just do distance, 205 divided by time, 3.25. And when you put that in the calculator, you should get 63.0769, uh, etc, etc. But the question just wants three significant figures. So I'm going to give it to three significant figures, which happens to be one decimal place. 63.1 miles per hour. Let's go to the next question. Jan leaves her house at 10 o'clock. She drives 90 miles to work and she drives an average speed of 55 miles per hour. At what time did Jan arrive at work? So they're asking for the time in this question. Okay, you know, how long did she take basically? And so they must have given us speed and distance. So what is the speed? 55 they said that very clearly what is the time uh, sorry what is the distance 90 they gave that really clearly so we just have to fill in speed equals distance over time uh, so that means 55 equals 90 over time and so if we're not using the triangle method let's just use a normal algebra method bring t to the top and bring the 55 down t equals 90 over 55 and if you put that into the calculator you'll get 18 over 11 now here they said hours okay they're talking about hours in this so miles per hour so this time is also hours 18 over 11 hours now they want the exact time so I need to somehow convert this into minutes, which might make my life a bit easier. Because, of course, uh, Jan left at 10 o'clock. So if we worked out how many minutes she took to get to work, it would uh, be a lot easier to, to calculate. So if you want to convert hours into minutes, just times it by 60. And you get 98 minutes. So she started at 10. She took 98 minutes. So he's definitely past 11 o'clock because that's 60 minutes. And if you do 98 take away 60, because that's how much minutes is left, you'll get 38 minutes. So that means it must have been 11.38. Okay. Next question. And the last question, we have um, a density question. The question says, Mr. John is building a toy fish made from wood for his daughter. He has three different planks of wood to choose from. Uh, plank A, plank B and plank C. If wood has a density greater than 1.5 grams per centimeter cube, it will float. Which plank of wood is the most suitable? So we want to work out which planks or which plank has a density greater than that 1.5. What is the formula for density? Density equals mass over volume. So um, we will just work out what the density is. So plank A, mass is 400, volume is... 250 put that in your calculator you get 1.6 so this was good uh, a, a worked out fine it's got a, a suitable density let's try b uh, mass over volume would be 526 over 365 put that in your calculator and you will get 1.44 of course, that is less than 1.5, so that's not going to work. And finally, we'll do C. Uh, C will uh, be, so density equals mass over volume. C will be 701 divided by 488. 
and if you put that in your calculator that is also less than 1.5 so basically a is the most suitable and there we have it